Hey Google, good night. Sleep tight, Hashani. Have a good night. The internet was introduced to Sri Lanka. 1.45% of the population uses the internet. 30% of the population uses the internet. We have more mobile connections than we have people. We're so reliant that we unlock our phones before we fully open our eyes. 43% of us check our phones every 20 minutes. Has technology taken over Sri Lanka? Our childhood was noticeably different to our parents because technology has woven its way into our daily lives. We have South Asia's fastest 5G mobile speeds. Government-owned organizations are integrating national digitization through 16 smart pillars, covering all facets and processes of the nation's socio-economic, infrastructural and administrative operations. The stage seems set for what's about to come. The internet is not just about connecting people anymore, is it? It's about connecting things. Smart technologies allow sensors, databases, and wireless access to collaboratively sense, adapt, and provide for users within the environment. Let me break it down for you. Our devices can talk to each other. They are connected. In one survey, 57% of smart device owners say their gadgets save them time. 45% say the devices save them money and 72% say that technology makes them feel safer. Hey Google, play some music. All right, asking Google Play Music to play some music. We spoke to a few people and asked them how smart tech would impact their future. I'm usually a lazy person, so I will be able to order food by just talking to my speaker. It'll be a lot of solar, a lot of... Uh... Automation, I, was, I guess everything will be automated and I guess most homes are now automated courtesy of Google. Automation is the future and convenience is the key. Smart tech can I'm not sure if smart, smart tech is going to change my life within the next year or two. But uh, for sure, during the next few years, yes. I definitely believe that smart tech is the way to go because we are living in a very fast-paced world where we, we require some of the smart tech to help us uh, get about. So, so I definitely think that smart tech is going to change the world. So, is smart tech in Sri Lanka attainable? Yes. While it's a growing subject, it is something that will be received positively. We interviewed the sector head of John Kills Properties, Mr. Nayana Marwilmada. He is currently leading the pack in property development in Sri Lanka with Trizen, a smart apartment complex that has integrated technology from the ground up. So there's very little doubt uh, that smart tech is going to be the future. Uh, and you know how well we integrate this with uh, buildings is going to change the way we, will, we live. So when we looked at uh, our new project, Trizen, we said, look, let's, let's uh, look at smart tech integration from the ground up. How do you engineer a building to be ready to take uh, new evolutions in technology? And how do you integrate a complete lifestyle change uh, into the building? So you know, for us, uh, integrating smart tech into a lifestyle is, is kind of taking Colombo and living in Colombo to a completely new level. And that's kind of what we try to do. This is where the Internet of People and the Internet of Things intersect. This is smart living. Get my drift? Picture it. Live it. Oh, and by the way, to help you choose what you need in your ideal home, we compiled a list of the top five smart tech gadgets. Check them out at www.columboliving.com. So, are you ready for what happens next? Columbo is.